Hi everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to another episode of This is Biz by This is Improv. These tips are important for your business to get as many viewers and as many people engaging with your products and services as possible without having to spend money on business advertisements like you would on Facebook, on Instagram, and other forms of social media. So going viral is the best way to reach as many people as possible without spending a lot of money. The tips I'm showing you today are also based off of a lot of research I've done on how the TikTok algorithm works, how to get the most viewers and the most interaction on your videos. So get ready for this. Let's get started by talking about why TikTok is important to be on right now as a business. TikTok is being viewed by more and more people each day. Especially with 2020 happening, a lot of people were discovering TikTok who had never seen it before. That means multi-generational viewers are now on TikTok, whereas before it was mostly Gen Z. However, it is important to keep in mind that you want to have that Gen Z clientele coming into your business because they're the generation who's going to be using your services as time moves on. What makes TikTok so fun is that it's a quick content-based sound on platform. So you get a variety of content in this one place and it's made to be short so you can really consume a lot. And that's one of the goals that TikTok has. They want you to experience as much variety as possible and as much content as you possibly can as well while engaging with the audience and engaging with the other users. That brings me to our first tip and that's video information. So in order for TikTok to get as many viewers looking at each other as possible, the first thing they look at is what's in the video. And a good way to become familiar with this information is to go out and view as many videos as possible. Just spend maybe 10 minutes a day looking at these videos. It's just like if you were performing on stage, you want to keep attention to your audience. What is everyone doing? What music does everyone like so that I can incorporate it in my show? What are people saying? How do I use the same phrases that other people are using? And this is a lot like character work as well. If you're looking out into the audience, trying to create a character based off of someone for your scene, so that you get more laughs because people understand Jerry really loves popcorn. So let me create a character that's based off of someone who only eats popcorn, is obsessed with popcorn. He has popcorn ceiling. He has popcorn carpets. He only eats popcorn at night. This is going to make it fun for your audience and give your audience something to latch on to. It's also going to drive a lot of viewers over to you. So think about what music is being used the most. So if someone searches that music, they can find you. What phrases are, are other people using so that they can look this up and find you? What hashtags are being used right now so people can go out and find you? That brings me to my next tip. Tip number two is taking part in challenges and paying attention to those hashtag trends. So if you think about this, this is dating myself, but if you think about the ice bucket challenge, that was popular for a while and it had celebrities, people, friends who would put their... So this is dating myself, but think back to the ice bucket challenge. We had people all over the world putting ice in a bucket with water and pouring it on themselves for charity. And they would tag other people for charity so that they could also do the ice bucket challenge and raise money uh, for this cause. And it went viral because so many people were doing it and interacting with each other. So using the hashtags and these trends is a great way to communicate with the rest of the TikTok community and get noticed. Because when someone likes a challenge or follows a trend or looks to see who's doing this trend on TikTok, then your name, your business can pop up. How can improv help you do the best with these challenges and trends? Use yes and. 
you see a trend, you see a challenge. Yes, this exists. Now, how can you add on your own twist to add the and to your yes and trend? One of my favorite trends right now is how do you know X without saying X? What's cool about that is they already set up the game for you. They have this trend going on. They want you to talk about it. They want you to engage with them. Now, all you have to do is add on your personal twist, your and to that situation. So how can you tell us that your dog is lazy without saying your dog is lazy? Show a video of your dog and how you interact with your dog and it's going to make audiences really engage with you and relate to you while adding in your own personality. How can you tell your business is awesome without saying your business is awesome? Maybe it's a video of your employees getting together and really working hard to get something done or your employees getting together and creating some funny video for the rest of TikTok to see. If you think about TikTok, the videos are about a minute long and that's as long as you really want it to be. Think about commercials on Prime TV. They don't really go past that 60 second mark. And that's because that keeps the viewer attention. That That's what people are really there for. In fact, a lot of videos on TikTok are viewed at most 16 seconds. So it really pays off to contain, condense those videos to get your message across. Now, this is where the fun of improv really comes in when it comes to TikTok. In improv, you make choices and you make a ton of them because you know not all of them are going to really work out. And that's just human nature. You don't always get the perfect thing on the right shot. So a challenge for TikTok is write a few sentences. See what you really wanna get across in that TikTok video and see how many different ways you can make this work for you. How many different choices can you make? Maybe you work at a gym and you're trying to show your users the different exercises they can do in the gym. So in that one shot, you say the same information. You talk about your services and you say at Dragon Gym, you can do a variety of workouts and you have someone on a treadmill uh, going as fast as they can. You have someone on the row machine just you know putting their heart out, someone on weights, uh, someone doing squats. And you get to see, okay, I have all of this material now. Which one works the best to show my message? And you can focus on that one, but now you have all this material to choose from based off of all of your choices. And that's the really fun part of improv. You can do as much as possible and see what works best for your final project. Tip number four, interaction. So your video is short, sweet, you're following a challenge, you're doing a trend, you have all the right hashtags. Now comes the important part, getting the audience to interact with your video, getting them to come back. If you know marketing, you know this is the call to action part of your TikTok video. This is the time where you ask your audience to do something, whether it be to comment below or to like your video or to follow your TikTok page. Whatever it is, this is your time. So it's nice to make it short, concise, sweet, and to the point. In improv, we're constantly interacting with our audience and asking them for things. In fact, whenever we play a game, we ask the audience for a suggestion. So this may be a point for you where you ask your audience, hey, what do you wanna see next? If you wanna get your audience involved and make their own video showing your products or services, ask them to show a video or create a challenge seeing how product X changed your life. How do you use this business service in your everyday life? What's cool about that is you get some great marketing showing other people influencing the rest of your market without having to spend those extra ad dollars, all with using improv. And that brings us to the final and most important tip number five for going viral on TikTok to promote your business or service. And that is engaging your audience. Engaging with your audience has become more and more important over the past year. And it's a great way to have your audience feel like they're part of a community. 
Like you're actually interacting with them and listening to their needs. What's great about TikTok is that it's made for engagement, whether that be through comments, through these challenges, and a variety of different other ways that they make it easy for you to find, discover new things in people. And the best way to think about TikTok with engagement is by thinking about networking. So you're going out and you're talking to people, you're talking and interacting with new people, whether that be your clients or people in your industry to grow your audience and bring awareness to your product and service. And the best improv tip that I can give you here is to listen. Listen to your audience, talk to your audience listen to your industry and see what's going on so that you can engage with them and communicate and keep that going. Think about TikTok as your new ensemble. This is your new community that you want to interact with and make them feel like you are listening. You're a part of their lives. And that's what people who look on social media now really are looking for. They're looking for that community. So make sure that you can bring that community feeling to them using TikTok and by listening to them, talking to them through your videos, comments, and other resources that we have there. And those are five ways to go viral on TikTok using improv to help your business be seen and engaged with by the greater community. I hope that you use these tips in your TikTok videos. If you'd like to show us what you got, then comment below so that we can see what you've done with your TikTok. If you have any other questions about how to use TikTok and how to succeed on TikTok using improv, you can email me directly at info at thisisimprov.com so I can help you improve your TikTok for your business. We also have courses, private courses, where we help you individually grow your TikTok. So make sure to message me with your details and I'll connect. If you have any other questions, if you want to see more videos like this that help with social media, that help with TikTok, more specific tips, then comment below and we'll help you out. And I can't wait to see you for our next This Is Biz segment. My name is Angelica. (laughs) Goodbye.